over to you, Carden. Right, the next one, uh, study the table below and answer the questions that follow. During 2015-16, again, you see it's for two years. The Minister of Finance announced the relief for lower income earners. This is progressive and increase, increased tax for high income earners. Yes, this is progressive. For example, people earning more than 37,000 a month are going to pay more while people who earn less than that will actually get a slight cut in their taxes. Okay, so government does this to try and bridge the gap. Do you remember that other question where I said, I really applaud the South African government for this because it tries to bridge the gap. Right, in contrast, 8.5 million people who are registered at tech, as taxpayers do not pay any tax at all. Uh, welfare grants are paid to 17 million people. That's a lot. That is why we still have a long way to go to get more equality in this country. Right, tax rates for the tax year ending 29 February 2019. Um, taxable income of individuals. Okay, so if you earn from 0 to 181, you pay 18% tax uh, of taxable income, by the way. Then if you earn between this and this, you pay first 32,000 plus 26% of any amount above this, above 100. And so it's, you can see what's going on. Then um, like that, 59 plus this plus like that, like that. So you see here, the highest income earner was pay, um, they, they were paying 41%. But now I think it's 43%. See, so it even went up since then. Um, I think it's 43%. That's a lot. Right. Uh, what tax scale is referred to in the heading of the extract? Okay. It is a progressive one. We've been saying this a thousand times. What important element of redress is found in the extract? Uh, that will be redressing the inequality of income or poverty. Explain the negative impact of high tax rates. Uh, we've seen this over and over again. Taxpayers re uh, develop tax resistance and this may um, result in tax avoidance or evasion of tax. This one here is legal. This is illegal uh, because tax avoidance is like let me try to think let me try to think all right let's say yeah let's say you buy shares and you make uh the 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 share price goes up so let's say you invested hundred thousand and now your portfolio has hundred and fifty thousand and then you think oh i've made a profit let me sell then you think oh no if i sell i'll have to pay tax for capital gains let me not do that so you have avoided tax so it's legal to do so because when you make a profit with when your ship you know you are not forced to sell and pay tax so if you do so you are trying to avoid paying tax so it's legal but tax evasion is illegal so if tax rates are high people will do tax avoidance because they are avoiding so by them avoiding government is being impacted negatively the next one will be discourage people from entering the labor market, uh, accepting promotions or working longer hours. Look, if you, let's say you are paying 59,000 plus 31%. And then if you get promoted, you go beyond this, this. So now you have to pay 93,000. So you might uh, decline a promotion for that reason. Calculate the tax payable by a person whose um, taxable income is 200,000. So let's try to locate 200,000. Okay, 200,000 falls into this category. No, 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 no. It falls into this one, sorry. It falls into this one. So we are using 32,000 plus. So what you will have to do is to find the difference between 200,000 
and this figure here um let me see no 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 from from 181 to 200,000 so it's actually 200,000 minus 181 100 okay zero 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 so that will be zero zero this is nine this will be nine again this will be oh my goodness one yes one right so then you you calculate what percent 26 over 100 times this and i don't know what you're gonna get all right so it will be remember what i said it will be you pay thirty-two thousand. okay this figure is what i was trying to calculate here so somehow i got it wrong because my numbers don't look uh, I think I confused some way, but this 18,100 is the difference between 181 and um, 200,000. Yes, so 200,000 minus 181, it gives you 18,100 times 26, that gives you 4,000. Then you add it to this figure here, then you get 37,000 like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.